Here's one more example just for practice. In each of these problems below, I want you to find the value of x. This does capture the three situations we've looked at, where we have segments of chords, segments of secants, and segments of a tangent and a secant, which is right here. So use your three theorems and solve for x in each of these three cases. Pause your video and then resume when you're ready to check your solution. For A, I'm dealing with a tangent and a secant. So I want to take my entire secant, x plus 14, times the area outside the circle, which is just x, equals my tangent times itself. I get x squared plus 14x equals 15 times 15, which is 225. I want to move the 225 over so that I now have a quadratic equation that's been set to zero. Using this, I want to use my quadratic equation. I find that x equals negative b plus or minus radical b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So this equals negative 14 plus or minus square root of 14 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 225 all over 2 times 1. And x will end up equaling, if we only use the positive, negative 7 plus root 274. Thus, that's my final answer. You actually do get plus or minus, but because we need to discard the negative, we focus only on the positive number. All right, let's look at B. In this scenario B, we have two chords. So I take each part of my first chord, multiply them together. That's going to equal the second chord's parts multiplied together. 9 times 16 is 144. I want to divide both sides by 18. I get 144 divided by 18, which is 8. And that's my value for x. Lastly, in part C, I have two secants. The secants are probably the hardest to deal with because you need to remember to take the entire secant. In this case, we get 22 plus 18 gives us 40. And multiply it by the part of the secant that's outside the circle. 18 equals the entire secant, 29 plus x, times the part of the secant that's outside of the circle, so times x. I end up with 40 times 18 is 720 equals, I can distribute this x to get 29x plus x squared. Again, if I rearrange this, I see that I have a quadratic equation of x squared plus 29x minus 720 equals 0. I want to use my quadratic equation where I get x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. x equals negative 29 plus or minus the square root of 29 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 720 all over 2 times 1. This gives me negative 29 plus or minus 29 squared is going to be 841 plus 4 times 720 is 2880 all over 2. Get x equals negative 29 plus or minus, let's see, 841 plus 2880 is 3721, and we want to take the square root of that number, which makes it so I have negative 29 plus 61 over 2, and negative 29 minus 61 over 2. Again, I do not want the negative. So I get that x equals 61 minus 29 all over 2, 16. And that is my final answer, that x equals 16. If you had a question on any of these, please go back, review all three theorems, and make sure you understand the material.